today, this recording will be Bad Dragon, as I explained in my last episode, which I recorded like a couple seconds ago, but anyways, I'm in Fireworks Factory doing this. Uh -oh. you have to use this combo power up to take out these fire dragons. It will allow you to super fly and super flame at the same time. Alright, so see there's two dragons, there's a purple one and there's a red one. Orange one, I mean. And they beat, and then you see how they both have health meters. Your best bet is to try to take out one first. And only one. If you try to take out both at the exact same time, one will get away. And they rebuild health as well over time. That's why I suggest you go after one. But if they didn't rebuild health, because you see they have their health from knocking off pieces of them. You know, if they didn't rebuild health, I'd um, totally suggest. Because they get smarter, they get hurt a hit as well. That's why. And they also shoot fire at you. That's one down. The purple one is the mean one and the hard one. And you know, if you fall, um, logic that, um, is used in Legend of Spyro, you will know that the, he's going to take over the world someday, or at least he's going to try to take out the world someday, unless someone like Spyro stops him. There we go. Awesome. Here, have this. I fished it out of a molt, uh, molten lava. Dragon eggs are basically indestructible. Evan. And I wonder he's crying. What else do you have to say? I knew those monsters would be no match for you. Yeah. So, anyways, um. That's, that's, like, I'm so shocked that I did it so quickly. Um, I am very good at this game, I remember that. But, still, I'm not the best at this game. But I'm shocked on, but, you know, I've done it many, many years and many times over, but I'm shocked that I, um, was able to actually, um, do that with such speed and accuracy. I like that this power up never wears off. In Ripto's Rage, you actually got that as well. In Ripto's Rage, there was um, a certain portal that would allow you to. There's a certain thing at the very end of um. At I don't know exactly what the place was called, but um, at the very end there was this place that would give you unlimited fire breath, and then you could actually get a. You could go on. Well, now you would just go online, but back in the day, you would um look for you would um find a secret code that um would allow you to have that fire breath throughout the whole game which makes it pretty easy to beat some bosses especially all right i'm getting way off topic with it but all right there's a special way to beat gulp with only super fire and anyways but you know i run out of commentary so easily that's why so next i'll be doing my favorite level in if if not like, Enchanted Tower is my favorite because of the skateboard, but my favorite level in general, after I figure out how to do it, of course, is, um, coming up next. So, that's going to be really fun. You guys are going to really enjoy it, I hope. And, you know, keep doing stuff. I'm, I'm going to be around for a while, I hope. So, yeah, that's going to be a lot loads of fun. Alright, I'm done with this level, which is which was surprisingly quick. I might actually just 
This was so quick, I might actually just stick it at the end of, um, I might just stick this at the end of my last recording, but, or, no, I'll just start the, I'll cut off the recording. Anyways, so, we're done with Fireworks Factory for now, because I don't have the last character to get the last two eggs, I think. Yeah, you're doomed. Yeah, so that's all in the next. That's all with the extra character later. But you know, keep looking for stuff, and you know, I'll keep posting. So I reach like 10 subscribers, which is low, but I know that's what I'm shooting for. I reach 10 subscribers because I know more than 10 people are watching my video. Or I reach 2,000 views, then I will um, then I will be doing a special long recording. Even though I do long recordings, but that one, but the one that I would be doing is like is gonna like be super long. All right, I think you might get a. I think I might also get a second cutscene. Yeah, second cutscene. An apology and launch. Spyro rescue the eggs. You just don't understand. If we don't bring dragons back to this world soon, all our magic will be lost. The dragons used to live here? Yes. This was their original home. But a long, long time ago, the sorceress banished them to the other side of the world. <sighs> she didn't realize the dragons were the source of all our magic. Maybe I could convince the dragons to come back. If you let me go. I'm sorry, I can't. So that's why they cabinet all the eggs is, well the sorceress actually has a different motive, which you'll hear when she makes your third boss, but anyways, the dragons are the source of all the magic here, and the sorceress doesn't understand that too much, but there's a reason why she, why it takes 100 eggs to, um, 100 baby dragons to, um, open the portal because um, she needs 100 dragons for a spell which she'll explain a little bit more about later when she does it but right now like uh, that's open and I'll do that but I won't be able to do it until Hunter's released so I actually won't so I'll do some of the stuff now, this is my favorite place I don't remember what it's called it'll show up eventually where we're we going to entering charmed ridge this is my favorite level in the game, and I hope you enjoy it. Spyro, we urgently need your help. The evil cat wizards of Felinia have stormed our castle and captured our princess. If we don't stop them right away, they'll force her to marry Prince Azrael. I oh, know, Prince Azrael, he seems like a nice guy. You'll meet him later, of course. And, you know, he seems like a nice guy when you meet him. He's kind of a gangster, but, you know, he seems nice. This level has a lot of interesting concepts that you have to work around, and I like that. He <laughs> I was not supposed to be able to get the guy. He's supposed to be on the other side of these barred gates, but... Oh, I can do it. See, there's two lives there, and there's actually... And I actually figured out the correct way to get them. I used to try the wrong way. So there's these cat wizards. Like that one. They'll shoot magic at you, but they'll also make other enemies bigger. Like that just happened. You can flame these guys when they're big, but the guys with armor, you can't flame them when they're real big. So that's the end of the level where you're supposed to do. Go. I don't know how often if you actually go to the end of the level before you're supposed to. There's my two lives. I call this a skill point. It's skillful if you're able to get there. But anyways, you know, that's how you're supposed to do it. But you know, Money's Bag is in this level and he's really... He's... I don't like him in this level. It's like this is the only level when he's not actually okay as a character. Hurry, Spyro! If we don't get to the 
castle right away, the princess will be forced to marry that loser, Prince Azrael. Oh, so she's just a, she just, it's just her who personally doesn't like him. So he is an okay guy. One of our fairies. No, this is a hard thing, is that they're controlling this thing to stop you from getting past, see? See, that's what you're supposed to do without getting crushed. They have terrible aim, which I feel grateful for. Spyro, but every time I think of that poor, poor fairy princess being captured by those villainous wizards, I simply break down in tears. That was nice and guilt. Ooh. You eventually get rid of all the wizards around this area. So, anyway. Now we fail. Well, Spyro, today is your lucky day. The wizards and I have worked out a little deal. If you simply pay a small toll, they'll be happy to raise these steps and let you pass. 600 gems. You have chosen wisely, Spyro. I'll tell the wizards to raise the steps immediately. And uh, best of luck rescuing that princess. Or whatever it is you're up to. Yeah, so they got raised the steps, but you get up and it... You have to try to get up here as fast as possible. Hiya! 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 <laughs> they say hiya when they try to go up here, so I say it when I beat them down. <laughs> they sh that guy shot him. <laughs> Sorry, that's just so funny. I never knew you could do that. I was just using logic. That doesn't work. Benjamin. Like, I was just using logic that you would do if you were really in a fight. I didn't know that actually worked. It'd be nice if I was able to get both of them with that, but still, that was cool. Right here is an exit that I choose. Gotcha. You go through here, you climb up here, you have this short timer, your goal is to shoot down the wizard so you can keep going. Oh, that's what you're supposed to use it for. The rocket was for this, I actually shot down. You can't hurt him yet, but you will. You used to do it with all the characters at some point. Oh, now I remember what I was supposed to do. That didn't work. Maybe you have to stay here now because the wizards, I killed them. I didn't kill them actually, I just kinda temporarily disarmed them from life.
Wow. Three bubbles. There's probably a different way you're supposed to do this, but this is just how I do it. Alright, anyways. Let's get moving. Oh, that was close. Yeah, you'll get to what that sound is later. I don't know exactly why she's there. Well, actually, I do know. Because you have to get across there anyways, but later, but, you know, I know why she's here. There is no time to lose. Prince Azrael and his cat armies are about to steal our poor princess. There's no time to lose. There's all the time in the world. Now this is something that it's actually not that tricky. See, they send rocks down. You're supposed to have a real big challenge of wearing them, but you don't, really. You shouldn't. And she's keeping the door locked. Open it, and apparently you're successful. Hi. Hi. Did you want to go to Walmart with us? Not really. Okay. Don't charge those things, whatever you do, do not charge those things. See, there's a frog and it has a crown on its head. I thought that was pretty cool. I'm wasting all the time in the world getting this princess. That opens the gate. And I fall down and run to the oh. thing. <laughs> Hi Spyro. This is Prince Azrael just the dreamiest. And the other fairies and wizards won't let us get married. So we're going to elope. By the way. Azrael says you can have this egg if you don't tell anyone where we went. Yeah, probably good. Close the door for better lighting on the camera. Sorry, I'm a little bit particular on stuff like that. Alright, so I have about eight minutes left. And there's the portal stuff. Yeah, they really actually do want to get married, which I thought was kind of interesting. And, you know, stuff like that. It's... So, eight minutes, and then I'll do the rest of this. Um, well, well, there's a lot of stuff to do in it. So you can go over here and get a flight path to a um, certain bird level, which I thought that level was kind of interesting in its own sense. This is a really um, fairy tale, lovey dovey kind of level if you think about it. So I'll try to do this question jar um, until my time runs out. No, 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 no! Ah, terrible. So, with that taking up a bunch of my time, I think I'm actually just going to end the episode here, and next time I will show you the Sergeant Bird level. Um, I'll show you the Sergeant Bird level, do the question pot right here, and do one more thing. So, I'll see you next time.